Hello, folks, and welcome to another Ninja Bill Reviews, and I don't know what to talk about tonight. We're Well, I got a few things. Uh, um, Breeze, welcome. And I'm going to pop a link in here. Boom, for anyone who cares to join me. Uh, maximum, I think, of six, though. So first six people hits in. There we go. And uh, we'll see how this works. Okay, let me get comfortable. Support my... Sporting my Autobot love today. Kato, welcome. I just posted a link up there for people who want to join me. Uh, shoot the breeze, talk about anything. Not Don't shoot Bumble Breeze because he's cool. He's cool. Just saying. <laughs> uh, you know, input, talk to uh, input and Kato and ACP and Triple R and Crimson talk about a lot of the stuff I wanted to talk about. So, hmm. <laughs> that I was going to attempt in my first live stream. So, Kato, how you been, buddy? Why don't you join me? Hit that link there and join me, if you can. It's been a long time since we did a show together. Keep meaning talking about doing it, so now's your chance. <laughs> Just started to learn <laughs> uh, uh, Yeah, usually I, I, I'd be watching, I don't know, something. I was doing a bit of this earlier and got distracted by that. Then I went live and realized that uh, Input and I went live at the same time. And I was like, uh, oops. <laughs> And I was wondering where everybody was, and I was like, what the hell is going on? And then I looked, and I, the little notification said, input is live. And I'm like, oh, I would pick the same time as somebody else. <laughs> but um, Larkin Blair, welcome, Joel. I uh, posted a link up there if anybody wants to join me. Talk about something. I recently started to watch Headmasters, thanks to a certain fellow. Me? Because I always mention it. Oh, probably Larkin. Or could be input. Could be input because he, he likes it too. I know I do. I do. Headmasters is a good. I like Victory. Victory is my favorite. Headmasters is right up there because it takes place directly after season four of our Transformers uh, cartoon. But Victory for me is my favorite. I'm at the store with wife and kids. Nice, nice. Well, I'm telling you, uh, from, you from seeing some of your posts, Cato, wow. Wow, some of your Facebook posts. Wow. Oh, wow. What's going on in your neighborhood? I got to do all three Japanese series in order. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, you do. But again, Victor, and skip zone entirely, please, for the love of sanity. For the sanity, skip zone entirely. Just breeze over it. Glaze over it. Matter of fact, forget I even mentioned the word Transformers zone. It didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I've been seeing that in your post, man, and wow. Wow. I, I can see why you uh, thought about a few times, casually or otherwise, about, you know, get, getting out of there. That's uh, it's getting crazy, man. You love Zone. <laughs> yeah, right. Nobody loves Zone. The only people who liked Zone were, you know, the Japanese, original Japanese audience, and they barely liked it. <laughs> it's crap. It's utter shit. <laughs> okay. Star Convoy. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's still shit. <laughs> I'm not saying the toys were bad. I'm just saying it. Wait, was there any toys from Zone? Well, yeah, the MicroMaster uh, 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 bases and uh, transports, obviously, and, you know, things like that, but.
you got me talking about zone. I, I don't want to talk about zone. I don't want to talk about zone. <laughs> Star Fine. You know what? Star Convoy. Woohoo. Yippee. Yay. Awesome. Where's my Super Megatron? Where is my Super Megatron? You know, the artist actually designed the character with a transformation and toy in mind. Where is it? You don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, give me a minute here. I'll bring out the Bible. Bible. This is the Bible. Four ten, huh? Okay. Four hundred. There's some there's some zone stuff. For those of you unfamiliar, there is some zone stuff. There's Menasaur, King Poseidon, other crappy shit I don't care about. Yes, and a freaking rabbit, okay? A freaking rabbit. No, 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 no rabbits. No Wesley Webbits, right? Right. There's Star Convoy. Everybody loves Star Convoy. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Star Convoy. Sky Gary, okay. Sky. A new Sky Gary would be cool, all right? But for the love of all is holy, look at that. Look at that. Super Megatron. I mean, come on. Super Megatron. Where's Super Megatron? Where's Super Megatron? That's all I'm saying. Get the Bible out. Oh, that's one of the Bibles. Here's the other Bible. For those of you that don't have either of those, go pick them up. Uh, good luck getting the Ark at a decent price. Last time I checked the prices, that was about 700 bucks. Good luck with that. <laughs> Later, Larkin. <sighs> don't mind selling. No, 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 I thought uh, input in uh, TFN Geek was going to join me. Guess, guess, guess not. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Such. You know what really has been bothering me late and, and it didn't really bother me, that my Facebook audience is larger than my YouTube channel's audience. That's actually bugged me. And only recently. It didn't bother me before, but when I got to looking at the number of people who view my posts over my uploads, there's a difference there. Oh, shoot an email over. Okay, okay. Do I have his email? I don't know if I have his email. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Um, I know I have yours, Cato. I know I have inputs. I have ACPs. But I posted the link right there in chat so people could just, you know, join. Uh uh Kia Fangi. Okay, I do have his email. Okay. Yeah. Master Far, welcome. 
So I'm back for the rest of the year. Are you? Are you really? Are you? The fact that you made a video said I'm back was was not the first clue. <laughs> no, I, I I welcome you back, man. I welcome you back. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is his email. Uh, same with my Instagram. Yeah, see, I, I don't know what it is. I, I have a larger following on my Facebook. See, now on my Facebook page, I do a Transformer dailies, and it's called Today's Random Transformer. And I spotlight Transformers from all the previous lines, all the toys from the previous lines. Uh, uh, um, and I do an extensive photo shoot from many different angles on you know all those toys and like just recently uh, uh, i did the laser cycles uh, um so you know and and every day i post a new bot except on the weekends i used to do it seven days a week now i only do it five less time than i used to have but i don't upload consistently anymore it's maybe my fault yeah Bumble Breeze has seen those posts, so he, he knows what I'm talking about. He's seen my random transform posts. People love them. They love the hell out of them. Um, and it has a larger following in the groups that I post in than my YouTube channel, which is disturbing. Uh, once again, I'll post that link here. Snoke, welcome. Uh, um, once again, I posted that link here. If people want to join me, I, I know Kato was, you know, crashing, and that's okay. We all need our sleep. Uh, beauty or otherwise um sleep ha. anyway um so what's up snow uh, you're in college too bumble breeze mm -hmm. i have some really big plans for the channel in 2020 very special series that will take some work oh nice kato nice i wonder what that will be <laughs> we ain't here YouTube. Hey, that's a, that's all good too. That's all good too. I like to I like to uh, do some you know uh, paint apps. I got a few apps on my phone with their paint apps. And no, I don't want to talk to you right now. No, no, go away, go away. But yeah, I, I play this paint app called Happy Color, and it's something to pass the time. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I almost wish it was reversed. I, I wish I had less following on Facebook than that and a bigger follow. I haven't even broke 150 on my channel yet. And I usually get two, 300 views on my, my posts on Facebook a day. And, and I'm just like, eh. <laughs> my two years resolution is to go full on BitTubers and do tons of stuff nice. I have a BitTube channel. Uh, so does TF Fangy, by the by. And I've done nothing with it. <laughs> I mean nothing with it. <laughs> it's a good rule. It's a good rule. Um, but I just, it's only just recently bothered me that, um, hmm. Give me just a moment here. I'm going to send him an email and see if he, uh, uh, you know, uh, wants to come join in. Oops. And I think I got the email wrong. Uh, Oh, well, uh, did I hear about Carol's spine? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Sad. There you go. That's my take on it.
There we go. Send him an email. Now, hopefully, you know, he'll uh, see that and come on in. We need to do another live together. <laughs> That's what I said earlier. Did I say that out loud? I did, didn't I? <laughs> Is that Landquake behind you? Behind me? Or is it somebody else? Landquake, where? Where? I don't, I, oh, you mean right? It, this, this shoulder. That shoulder right there. Yes. Yes, indeed, that is Landquake. Uh, yes. Indeed, yes, it is. Uh, as I was saying, I cover toys in my random Transformer posts, and he was featured in one of my random Transformer posts. Because he is one of my favorite figures, and I really love him. I really love him. He's one of my favorite figures. I dig him. I dig him a lot. I love his alt mode. His alt mode is probably one of the coolest alt modes that Transformers have had. Um, there have been tons of cool alt modes, okay, but his is pretty awesome. Does he have GPS? No. No, 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 no. No, he does not. Not in my experience, anyway. I'd be down to watch that live. Yeah, I'd be down to watch a live show with me and Kato as well. Or I'd participate. Be even be better. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. All that stuff. Yeah, Landquake is awesome. He, he, he is awesome. He is awesome. This is the backpack. It is awesome. There's a firing a missile. Working winch. Oops, you didn't see that. So working winch, working missile. We didn't love missiles. I just love his alt mode. I, I, I. I never get enough of it. That's conversion right there to part of his alt mode, or it has a battle station, battle station mode as well. Uh, I had a heck of scheduling stuff with folks and trying to square up time to go with RRR. Nice. Got to pop this off. Got to pop this off. Pop, pop off. There we go. Pop off. Hold these up. Square that up. You can have this part of the base mode. Hold this up. Hold this up. Uh -huh. Connect the dots. I mean, look, look at those big old peg. Look at that big old peg. That right there is a big old peg. <laughs> First the part it goes into. There's the rear of the truck so far. Since Master Park pointed it out, there's the rear of the vehicle, and it's awesome. Here is his regular robot mode, minus the fists that are currently inside for that combination. I love his head sculpt. It's a good one. It's a good one. I enjoy it a lot. Pretty good head sculpt. Pretty good light piping. I enjoy it a lot. Crimson, welcome. Um, let me post this link here if you'd like to join me. Boom, there you go. No, that's 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 not it. That's that's not it. Uh I had I had it where did I did where did I has it? Uh I, I 
I included the link. Ooh, oops. Um, hmm, yeah. What you do invite, copy to clipboard, post that, post that. Boom, there it is, Crimson. Uh, <laughs> this thing, what did this cost at the time? Um, Gosh, I, I can't remember. I, I want to say 15 bucks. But that, but that could be wrong, too. But I am pretty sure he was $15. Brand new. Another decade, and we're all still not dead. There you go. Yep. And he's actually a little bit bigger than a Voyager class. A little bit bigger than a Voyager class, but not quite a leader class either. Or he was in what they called an ultra class then. So, um, which is basically the Voyager, old Voyager, not new Voyager. Um, but again, he, 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 he's one of my favorites. He's one of my favorite toys. I love him. I love him to death. He's awesome. Had a good transformation too. Hate this part. This was ugh. always the hard part for me. It was get flipping that panel open to put his head in. It's always tough. There we go. that up put that up he always was a, a bit of a bear to transform mm. all my joints on here are still nice and really tight It would be the same, I would say it's the same as the Wii U bring it down for me. Yeah. Have you heard from Tatamus? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have. I just heard from him today. Um, as a matter of fact, I was speaking to him just before I joined your live show. And uh, he said, uh, do, 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 do. let me bring up that message. He said, um, I'm trying to figure Figure out just what the fuck I'm going to do with my channel and have been working on other projects for my channel and a couple of others. I appreciate uh, you reaching out to me, brother. I miss the community too. I have to get off my ass and get an update bid. Those were his exact words. Yeah, I sent I sent him a, a couple of messages before Thanksgiving. I sent him a message on Thanksgiving and uh, uh, to let him know that you know we were thinking about him and whatnot. And uh, he got back, finally got back to me today. So, yep, uh, I have heard, indeed heard from him. So, pretty cool, too. Pretty cool, and I can't wait to see what he brings us. There we go. There we go. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> <coughs> Nintendo One. You brings it down for me. Um, I'm an Xbox One fan. I, I, I'm here to tell you, uh, everybody likes what they like, and that's okay. But for me, I I dig the Xbox One. I dig it. I dig it a lot. So you know, just saying. And everybody likes what they like, and that's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. Um, for me though, it was. The Xbox One won it for me. I had a PS4, and I'm telling you, I cannot stand, I cannot stand the PlayStation Shop. 
PlayStation Store. I mean, I can't stand it. It's it, it's 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 crap. All right, it's crap. It's shit, and I don't like it. Uh, cool. If you reach out to him again, I'll let him know. I was thinking about him. As as a matter of fact, that you would say that. I told him. I told him thanks, and I said thanks you as well. We all miss you around the community. For my exert, exact words to him. Almost finished transforming him. There we go. And there is his front of the alt mode. And we bring the two together. Bring the two together. And he connects solidly. <clears throat> I mean, really solidly. And this is the alt mode for Land Quake. Look at that beast. Look at that beast. Guys have never seen him. There you go. And once again, I, fe I feature toys like this all the time on my random Transformer posts for my dailies. And, oh, yeah, he's a beast. He is a beast. I dig it a lot. Uh, I love my PS4 and my Xbox One. I play PS4 more because of the amount of single-player games, but I absolutely agree. PS Store sucks compared to MS Shop. It does. Optimus Wilbur, Will, hey, man, how goes it? <laughs> Peep's still going strong. It's 3.30 a.m. Well, that's because we're we're doing your time. Well, kind of, not really. <laughs> I, see, I see in the mornings, you know, sometimes I'm waking up. You're probably passing out. I'll see you online for about, oh, um, you know, a few minutes. And then every time I'm about to message you, Will, your little green dot to show that you're active goes inactive. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, screw that idea. Only five inches. We got, we got, uh, we got six inches of snow and it's like three degrees outside, three degrees above zero outside right now. That's why I'm wearing all this shit. Eh, 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 eh. Cool merchandise. Cool merch to go along with my nice. Movie Autobot logo shirt. Yeah, uh, where do you live again, uh, Bumble Breeze? I forget. I know it's in the Midwest. I thought I think it's in the Midwest anyway, right? Because we had a large storm pass through here just a few days ago. So yeah, if you if you ever Run across Landquake here. Pick him up. Trust me, you will love this toy. Pick it up. It is one of my favorites. One of my favorites, and I, I love it. It's a great toy. It looks fantastic. Not a lot of robot kibble under there, as you can see. Look at that. Not any robot kibble under there. Love Landquake. Uh, Nebraska. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm here in Iowa, so I'm your neighbor. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I I picked up Landquake, and you know, I didn't pick up the other version because there's the original version of that toy. I didn't pick up because I, I was like, eh, landmine or whatever the hell he was called. I I, I don't care. I, I I I don't. It's not something I wanted, um, so I didn't pick it up. Um, I didn't like the colors, but on him, Landquake, those colors look, looked and worked really well. And um, yeah, also back there, I've got animated Starscream, got Cybertron Scourge, 
got Silverbolt, Skyhammer. I've got, um, oh, I forget the turtle's name, the turtle alligator's name, but he's a cool figure. I like him. Uh, who else do I got up there? Oh, and I got this movie, movie forklift guy because it looks just like the forklift I used it in my in my where, last warehouse job. And as a matter of fact, when I bought it <laughs> and I displayed him on, I had him uh, with a piece of Velcro stuck on my forklift and I had this guy with me uh, all the time. <laughs> you also keep Skyhammer back here. This He's one of my favorites. You gotta love Skyhammer. I mean, he's a shark and a, and you know, and a hawk, and and, and you gotta love that combination. He's got that nice metallic blues on him and metallic reds, and he's an awesome, awesome, awesome toy. Skyhammer. For a basic figure, he's really cool. Back when they did base cool basic figures. Wolf Miss, welcome. Fuse or air hammer. Yep. That's what I said. Air hammer. And he's awesome. He's awesome. One of my favorites. Some of the fuse wars were a little way out there for me, but, you know, I like Skyhammer. Like this guy. This guy is cool. This guy is seriously cool. I love him. I dig him a lot. <laughs> Opening jaw action. Yeah, I got. I, I display a lot of toys on my uh, Facebook post. And again, like I said, it kind of bothers me because I get more followings on my Facebook post than my YouTube channel, which is a little disappointing. And I recently saw the review for uh, Ironworks. That looks cool. I'm serious. That Ironworks looks cool. As much as I want Astro Train and Mirage and, well, most of the Siege line that I'm missing, honestly. But Ironworks looks really cool. Terrogator, yep. Next to Quick Strike. You don't say Quick Strike, you say. Quick Strike, you say. I would never know who Quick Strike is. I mean, Quick Strike, who's, who's that? There's no such thing as Quick Strike. No, 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 not whatsoever. There's no character named Quick Strike. No. <laughs> There's no Quick Strike. Terrorize. Yeah. There you go. It's Quick Strike because Quick Strike's awesome. Um, he, well, he is awesome. <laughs> He's... I loved most of the Fusor, Fusor's line. Um, the Transmetal 2 line was where things got a little... Okay, like with... Uh, uh, Transkido. What an abomination that was. And uh, what was the... What was the, the wolf? The wolf. The, the, the... Oh, what was his name? Oh. I have him and I can't even remember his name. I have him. Where, where, where do I... Oh. This guy. <laughs> this guy. It's an abomination, and, and it doesn't. A hyena, I guess. He's not a wolf. He's a hyena, but still, he, he's an abomination. And I cut those wings off. The 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 blades that were back here on his legs, I cut them off because they hinder articulation so badly. Like you can see these right here, down here. You can see those right down here. Now, the ones on the rear legs was worse. They hindered transformation so much, so I cut them off. Autocorrect Primer, welcome. There you go if you'd like to join in. Darkonan, welcome. Gold stuff. What? It's all shiny plastic brittle or just gold stuff? Uh, no, no, no. This is... This is uh, one of the Transmetal 2 line toys, and he's in really good shape. Nothing's, nothing's, well, this camera sucks, but if it didn't suck so bad, you could see there's no chipping on it and no paint loss or, you know, 
other than a bit of dust, this guy works great. I mean, even the gimmick still works great. The saw back gimmick. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I really, I really dug this this line, even though he's still an abomination. <laughs> but he had a pretty cool sword weapon. I mean, you gotta admit, that's a that's a pretty cool sword. That does it. That that's pretty cool idea for a sword, you know. And get it back in there. There we go. And his tail. So it was pretty cool. I, I don't know. Um, I like the Fusor's line a little bit better than the Transmetal 2 line. Especially when you get to Transmetal 2 Inferno. Um, well, he was called Inferno in Japan. But here he was called... Uh, oh, what the hell was his name? Um, uh, thought I had him. Maybe I don't. That's what I did. Oh, well. <laughs> now, this is a toy line I don't own many of. Because much of the toy line was crap. And that's the Beast Machines line. And who? Oh, hey, HTP. Sorry, Welcome. let me put you on mute. I apologize. Yeah. Listen to me. No, that's okay. Like... Hey, the Beast Machines line I was not a big fan of. However... Savage Noble here, I wish they would have made a larger figure out of. And it would have been cool. It would have been real cool. Because he does look cool. He does look cool. You got a wolf with dragon wings and a wolf becomes a dragon. And, you know, he was cool. Um, I wish they would have done a better figure of him, though. Because that one, the Beast Machines lines, not a lot of those toys were great. You know what I'm saying? You know, I forget about really me fun. being great. I was like, man, I'm just getting all kind of flattery everywhere today. Then I found oh, you talking well, about yeah, transform. You are great. You are great. <laughs> you, are, you are great. And, and and by the way, congratulations once again on you know 150 subs. I, I, oh, I knew it. I, I told you I, all that time ago. I told you, you and Nikki both all that time ago that you guys were gonna surpass me. And man, oh man, did I see it coming. I told you guys. I, you, you, you make you did. fantastic content. I, I saw it then. I see it now. Yep. So, you know, congratulations. I'm I'm surprised that I that I have one. I I, mean, I I just well this community's just been great. And I want to say hey to everybody in the chat. I saw a lot of people saying, Hey ACP, welcome. Hello, I'm here. But yeah, uh I am very, very, very shocked. Um and and the one thing that I was saying on the on the channel is that I when I said share your your transform i meant this like say sh not just share our channel share everybody's channel just put a hashtag acp so i can see if you're on ninja bill you share ninja bills hashtag it with acp uh autocrat primer kato's uh input crimson rapture uh tf angie anybody's do that and I, I just shared yours all over the place <laughs> yeah, thank you <laughs> yeah i was like okay he wants me to share it all over the place with the hashtag I'll share it all over the place with the hashtag. Who might argue? <laughs> uh, what's Dark Conan said? He said, I'm going to go full Legends. Uh, Legends, I have a good chance of getting all the characters I want, and they'll look like they belong together. Very true. Um, I saw recently, who was it? Bobby Skullface, I think, did a video on Legends toys, comparisons between the mm -hmm. different various uh, um, uh, companies and whatnot. So, that's an excellent review or you know topic. I, I suggest go over his channel and look up that video. Uh, it, was, it was it was a good one. I enjoyed it. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, anyone spare a can of Monster? Anyone? Well, no. I, I got a bottle of beer here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all out of my beer. So <laughs> that was my last one. <laughs> I just you know gulped that down while watching uh, you and. Input and Crimson and R, Triple R and, and Kato. And I was like, oh, okay, well, while they're yapping around, I'm going to suck down a beer. <laughs> don't blame you. Nikki was like, yeah. uh, honey, you don't have any more beer. I was like, what? 
Kong. <laughs> it's like no. What is my Vader. energy? <laughs> <laughs> that's my life what are you talking about no <laughs> uh, I can spare side comments and flatulence hey flatulence sure why not you're the only one that's going to smell it thankfully I mean uh, <laughs> just unless they come out with a smell of vision I don't ever want to have a smell of vision no 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 smell of vision thank you <laughs> yeah. I'll keep getting Iron Factory and maybe some mech fan toys mastermind creations is a new addiction Cato said Oh yes. yeah, you know. Iron here's factory. my thing is okay, and and many people disagree with me, and I understand why, and that's okay. That is, for me, it's about for me, it's about morality. If third party companies are so damn fantastic, why can't they buy a damn license? Okay, that's a good point. Why can't they buy if they're so damn fantastic? Why can that they get off their cheap thieving asses and buy a friggin' license? That way, when they release a, a character that looks like Optimus Prime, they could actually slap a logo and the name to go with it. That's well, that's just me though. Not no, no, everyone no. will agree, and that's fine. And that's fine. I'm not saying the third party toys are awful because far from it, they're completely the opposite, they are fantastic. Okay. From my own experience and what I've seen additionally by you guys, they are. They are really fantastic figures. Don't get me wrong. I would prefer if I actually could buy an Optimus Prime figure where I don't have to slap a sticker on it just to say, oh, this is Optimus Prime. Because that's exactly what you're doing. Every time you buy an Optimus Prime figure that doesn't have a, the logo on it or his name on it, you have to – you're lying to yourself about what it is. And, and – Moral, that's that moral line that I can't. Well, it, it, it also depends on how much Hasbro, if they're willing to allow their stuff to be licensed out. Disney licensed everything out. Uh, that's why I tell people Marvel comic books are not going to be here in the next two, three years because Disney did not buy a publishing house. It bought the characters to make movies and mm -hmm. cartoons and stuff like that. Um but it, it depends on whether or not, you know, if Hasbro would actually allow their brand to be used. Um, they did it for, uh, was it uh, uh, Flame Toys? They sold demo license. That was for th I, uh, Torn, wasn't it? Uh, no, they actually have, they have a license from ha Hasbro. Uh, Flame Toys does, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure they do. And they that I, I I'm pretty sure I read an article on I think TFW about it. I could be mistaken where I read it. I know it was a forum somewhere. It could have been on Facebook too. So, but I know I know they do. They they went out. They got the, they said it was hard work to get that license. I will say that. So you're probably right on the mark there. Uh, they said it was hard work to get that license. But in the end, I've seen some of those statues that Flame Flame Toys has put out. Wow, just not. Knock me out of my socks! Wow, I I mean wow. <laughs> um, so you know, uh, let's see what Cato uh, says here. He said the cost of that license immediately. Um, I lost uh, ups the cost to sell, and also means they have to meet regulated safety standards. That's yes, true, yes. true. Still doesn't take away from the fact that they're you know thieves. <laughs> If you if you make a character that looks like Optimus Prime, it's Optimus Prime. It's by the license. Well, Get over well, it. I, it's how I, I, guess, I go ahead. No, oh, I, I mean I, I can speak on the on the side of having characters that I've created um that I have copyrights for. Um there's one character I created called uh Skinny Skelly. Well, a lo lo a local a uh, guy in a local small town took the character and was and making books off of a character I designed and created and had the rights for. Um, but when I looked to see what he was doing and he was doing it for kids and stuff, I was like, okay, it's no big deal. And I think in a way with like Hasbro sometimes looks at the third party going, well, they're not really see, tapping into the, the blood of the American, the Western culture yeah they're having to get these things overseas yes they're having to have these things sh shipped um and it, it, it's honestly it would cost them more money to stop that's why i was so surprised that 
that they actually stopped the one company from creating the Unicron. Um, but that company needed to be because typically what's been happening is that they wait on characters like a year or two years after Hasbro's had the line out. Do you have a knockoff comes out afterwards? Um, but yeah, like Kato said, and like Kato mentioned uh, earlier, is that they don't have to meet the regulations. There's a lot of regulations, mm -hmm. even as a, uh, a published author and, and an artist. There's still things that I have to do for the American market that I don't have to do for overseas. You yeah. know, no, no, that that makes sense to me. That it's just like today I saw a post on a third party product, Triple Changer, that is an iteration or you know a representation of Shatter. Okay. And that thing's magic. That thing is fucking magic. I mean, how they accomplished going, those two modes look excellent. The robot mode looks excellent. How they accomplished that beta engineering, I can't even imagine. And I would love it, love it, if they actually could have the license to that character and call it Shatter when it's released. Because yeah. my God, was it a work of art. I'm well, telling well, I'm telling it thing. Yeah. But that's my thing is I just it's that moral stance where I I don't have that moral that's a moral ambiguity. It's like, okay, kids, look what I got. I got me I got me a Megatron. Isn't that great? Uh by the way, go grab those stickers so I can put a Septicon symbol on it. Well, it's also well, like but mommy told me I shouldn't well it's Optimus Prime. Well, it's not really Optimus Prime. Well, Somebody like stole it and made this. Well, mommy says not to steal. Okay, well, she's right, but it's okay to buy stolen stuff. Don't tell mommy I said that. Well, See that moral ambiguity there? I, I do, <laughs> but as an artist, someone coming up to me and saying, hey, I want to get a Dr. Doom, or I want to get a My Little Pony, or I want to get you know, something from the big companies. Batman is a big one. I do a lot of art for people that come up. Uh, that they ask for artwork. They want me to do an artwork, but they want it to be from the big two companies, Marvel or DC. Cool. You know, I'm still I still do the work for that artwork. I don't own the rights to those characters. You know, um, but then you get into the thing where I know the guy that created uh, the Ghost Rider. Uh, he did this big mur mural, and Disney stepped in, and he had to stop doing it because he did not pay for his the rights for his character to be drawn on that scale. So you do come to a, a point where, you know, where's the gray area? I mean, Disney is really what's made the gray area so broad because you're not allowed to draw. I can't, if I draw Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, you, any of those, you they draw will three have circles my, and you're automatically Disney's on your ass. Three yeah. little circles and they're on your ass. If you can yes. join those circles, that's when they get you. If they're just three circles, okay, mate, can join them in any fashion. You're but done. they, but someone go, comes and gets a Spider Man or an X Men character from me, you know, Disney's not going to look at it and be like, okay, you can't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't do the commission work. Um, they typically, for some reason, overlook that that aspect. Um, but that's yeah, I mean, they, they do it on purpose. They do it yeah. on purpose. That that's that's what they call uh, marketed intellectual property. So. For Anime Iowa, and in our, our, I told you about Artist Iowa on the last live show we did together. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is we have to actually tell these artists, okay, there are certain things you just can't do. I, somebody requests of it, no. Just say, I'm sorry, no, I can't do that. Because yep. our, it won't be our, our mm -hmm. responsibility. We won't be mm -hmm. liable for it. You will. As the artist, you will be liable for it. They yes. will hunt yeah. you down. Now, there are several companies like Disney who will look the other way because it promotes that character. It promotes their uh, 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 sales in the long run. And they absolutely feel this way. And Hasbro, the reason why third party has done it as sex successfully as they have is because it, it's, it's an idea that completely, absolutely, and entirely exists at Hasbro's whim. People yeah. can say otherwise, but it's true because look at what had third party people been doing to Bandai's products, but they've been doing to Hasbro's products, to Cars products. Huh, let's see what would have happened then because Bandai. Oh, yeah. oh. Well, and it's also the fact, too, is that we're, you know, um, 
I, I get the 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 idea of third parties doing what they're doing and selling it. Um, but one thing like with an artist is, yeah, there's that gray area where we're allowed to do um, certain things. And you're right. We're told at the very beginning, these things are off limits in this area. It's like prime example. I'll, uh, I'm going to a show tomorrow. Um, it's going to be in Charlotte. Well, I cannot draw the Charlotte's Panther for any, for any reason for anybody why? Because it is a trademark logo for a national football league that's in that city. So I cannot draw, you know, uh, the cat, no matter what type of panther at all. So, yeah, I get that. I, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's something I hate to I hate to limit an artist in any way, shape or form. It's the one thing I had. Oh, I hated walking into the our vendors area where we had our artist alley. You know, get them in the group, you know, when we assign them their tables. OK, you're going to have here's the table you paid for, you know, because pe some people don't understand how that how that works. You do because that you've experienced it. So basically what it is, is artists will come to to conventions or whatnot. Right. Mm -hmm. They'll either be approached by them or they will approach the convention. So you come to us, you you pay us for a, a spot, a table, two yep. tables, three yeah. tables, whatever it is you're paying for. Right. So you're paying for a booth you know to demonstrate your wares to sell your wares you know well, it's just and it's, promote yourself yeah it, but, it's just uh, like it, it's just like the artist chrissy zulu um she actually did a cover for us um many many years ago and uh she was like she had to call me from san diego and it was late when she called and she's like i just didn't realize i had your cover in my portfolio, DC loves it. Can I use it? I know it's your copyrights. I'm very lax on my my copyrights with my characters. With any of the artists that's ever worked on it with me, mm -hmm. um, but see what we what we're now experiencing is that these characters are coming up to the hundred year mark. They're coming up to where it's going to become public domain. Um, <laughs> you've got, you know, you've got. Papa the Sailor Man has been public domain now for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, and so Disney is the one that, that had created the copyright thing on, on characters. So I don't mm -hmm. see Disney letting go of Mickey Mouse. I see them having lobbyists that's going to change the, the laws to be even longer uh, for that. But yeah, as, as artists, as, as stuff, I get it. I understand. And I know that but I think with Hansbro, if third parties, for me, for me personally, if third parties didn't exist, I don't think Hasbro would be still al alive 35 years later. I'm not so quite. A, I, I agree with the first premise, but not with the second. Okay. Uh, um, because, again, it's, it's the thing is that Transformers as a franchise, not even one of the most successful franchises let's be honest here hasbro makes a lot of products and transformers is just a fraction of that those mm -hmm. products and it's not even their most successful product but the reason why it keeps on going is public interest and so a part of the reason why hasbro sort of goes doo, 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 the other way for third-party products what what I don't know what you're talking about. The reason they do that is because of it does bring them brand recognition. It does bring yes. them brand recognition because if somebody sees, say that 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 MP uh, uh, general or whatever it's called, that newest MP uh, um, prime lookalike um, that's got everybody hot and bothered, it, Tiff Hanky uh, is asking Tiff a question. Hanky, welcome. Uh, yeah, here, I'll post the link for you again. Here you go. I'm going to let you do that. Oh. After doing the other live stream, I haven't gone to the bathroom yet, so I will be right back. <laughs> you go ahead. Go ahead. And uh, um, so we'll let uh, Tia Fangi join us. Steve, welcome. Dark Conan says, the toys that made us made me aware of Hasbro's early struggles. I had no idea they were so close to being gone forever at one point yeah i love that series by the way by the by by the by there we go added to you thank you hey welcome, welcome. 
And uh, let's see, uh, I got to catch up on the chat here. I missed some of it. Uh, uh, they were talking about the Disney stuff. Disney changed how trademarks work. Literally changed the entire industry on trademarks. That's just because they're dicks like that. Excuse well, my also because they bought so, bought so many uh, companies. As I just listed with I, – I was having dinner with my family. That's why I was so late arriving here, Ninja Bill. So mm -hmm. I apologize for that. That's okay. Get here when you get here. Songs. But I listed – I saw an article of all the studios and filmings and films and rights that Disney bought over the last 20 years. Over the, over the last 20 years, the major things that Disney bought included uh, Jim, Hen Jim Henson Productions, mm -hmm. Marvel Comic Books, Pixar – the Star Wars films, and Fox. So basically, Kermit the Frog, Spider-Man, and Woody and Buzz Lightyear, Darth Vader, and The Simpsons can now sit at the same table as Mickey Mouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and uh, it's kind of what we're talking about is, is, is and, and as I was telling Derek, uh, um, I hate limiting. At the convention I, I worked in, staff for the last 22 years, we always had to be the, I had to be the guy on a few occasions and walk in there and tell an artist, I'm sorry, but this character is off limits. This, and we actually had gave him post-it notes in some occasions that way slap them right there next to them, you know, <laughs> with their art supplies saying, Hey, you can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this. If you do this, you can do this, but you can't do this. If you make that character, you can make it this way, but you can't make it that way, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's all because of, you know, those stupid copyright, you know, laws. Yeah, my last semester at college, that was a social irony that my art teacher uh, explained to us is that with advancements in the Internet and people gaining more freedom to socialize across the globe, it's ironic that at the exact same time, registered trademarks and people saying, I own this, you can't make any money off it, has actually gotten tighter and more restrictive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the same time that people have had more freedom to communicate with each other uh, across the internet. So basically, oh, yeah. and, freedom and again, is free. Disney, Disney, yeah. Disney changed the scope of how ownership works across the world, not just here in the States. Yeah. But everywhere the globe yeah they yeah. changed it because they it's like when 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 steamboat willie first started to go up in the public domain i think it was 1928 they changed the world to make sure they never lost that character yeah they did ever yeah. well the now, thing is well the thing is is that disney right uh, the two years earlier in 1926 he was fired from his from working at, at the cartoon filming company that he was working on before. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the studios owned the rights to the characters, not the artists who drew them. Yep. And so he lost the rights to his first cartoon character, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And, oh, I, and most people don't know this. I actually saw this on a historical documentary about, Dis about Walt Disney. His old boss saw a sketch, the first sketch that he made of Mickey Mouse and told him this will never be a successful cartoon character and handed it back to him. So Disney law almost lost Mickey Mouse right mm -hmm. after he drew him for the first time. Well, these big corporations also have done some really shady things. Like the guy that created Shazam had to give up the rights because DC said, he looks too much like Superman. We're going to sue you. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. um, but and then, and then while, after that happened, uh, that's when Marvel created the char Captain character Marvel. of uh, Captain Marvel. And so, Shazam! That Captain Marvel was his original name, and so that's mm -hmm. one thing a lot of people don't know about. But there were DC and Marvel created two different superheroes with the exact same name, Captain Marvel, at one point in the past. Yeah. yeah. Now, to to I want to I, I went and got some little. I, I was like, if I'm going to do a bathroom break, I'm going to bring some toys with me. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, uh, okay. I, I was play, I was playing with playing with this guy earlier. I was I, I was going to sorry you too. Train earlier today. I'm Ooh, sorry. You, you have Landquake. Nice. I still have him. I'm, I'm sorry, you two. He's a, one of my favorite figures. Oh, yes. Action figures. Okay. <laughs> now, right. I, the, to address what you said, you said that people slap stickers on their, their third party. Now, I agree with you wholeheartedly on that. I do not. That's why I brought up my third party Megatron. I do not put Hasbro's 
logo of Autobots and Decepticons on any of uh, my third party figures. Neither do I. You know, uh, because I don't have access to the stickers. Well, I, one, I hate stickers, but two, yes, the part of me says this looks like Optimus Prime, but without it having the pr official Hasbro Autobot symbol, this is not us Optimus Prime. This is Convoy Soldier. You know, he I got him because he looks like, and it's the same thing with with Superman and with uh like if I do a Superman at a show. And I have someone that's uh, 50 years or older ask for me to do a Superman. Guess which Superman they're going to pretty much ask for? They're going to ask for the Christopher Reeves type suit. Mm -hmm. If I get a kid that comes to me, he's going to ask for mm -hmm. the Superman, but he's going to ask for the one that looks like the one that's in Dawn of Nightmare movie. I'm going to interrupt you for just a second here. Steve yeah. Evans, who joined us, by the way, hello, Steve, in case you didn't hear me. I'm hoping that Hasbro will continue to give us more than – more than the same 20 bots cons that we typically get in every line right yes. on steve right on yeah. you that you, you mm -hmm. preach it to the choir there brother because that's the truth i yeah devastator devastator is my favorite combiner why because i had my original devastator and did i buy the one from walmart absolutely i bought the one from walmart but did i get a third party one yeah, I got the third party one. I also mm -hmm. got another third party that's over there. I, I can't pick him up because he won't stay together. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. um, that actually brings a point up about, about an old topic. I'm sorry to interrupt, but remember how a few months ago when Hasbro announced that next starting next year they were going to try and eliminate plastic from all of their boxes and product stuff, so like the toy, there wouldn't be any plastic involved with the actual packaging. Yes. Um, and, Right after that, I saw everyone saying that Siege Jetfire was an example of what the packaging is going to be like. But when you open up the box, he's still inside plastic, plastic shell. Plastic, plastic shell. And so I tried to tell everyone on some of the fan sites there is an even better example of what a Transformers toy looks like that's packaged without any plastic at all. And it is the Combiner Wars version of Devastator. Because I, I still have the box for a Combiner Wars Devastator. I have to keep the Constructicons inside. The the, and when you open cyber it, battalion figures are like that too. Yeah. Any cyber mm -hmm. battalion figure, ACP will tell you is the same way. All cardboard, yeah. no plastics mm -hmm. in there. Even the ties are, mm -hmm. are not plastic. So yeah, but yeah, like for the seat, like say the generations line, if they continue to do a whole enclosed box with no pack with no plastic window on it, then Combiner Wars Devastators are an example of what that type of packaging could look like because the Constructicons were placed inside cardboard boxes. Yes. The cardboard liner if you open it up and actually look inside. And I'm going to be honest with you, TFN Geek. I'm a little jealous that you have that one because that where we are, I never could get that one. No, um, I, and, I oh, never saw the Combiner Wars line to get any of those. So Yeah. Um, oh, TFN Geek, also what I'm thinking about, it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email you, so look for an email from me. Okay. Uh, what are you emailing me about? Huh? What are you emailing? What's, what's in the message? You don't it's want me to give up the course, surprise yeah. for everything? What? Oh, it's a surprise. Yeah, I love surprises, oh especially when I pick Surprise pornography. I no. <laughs> you guys want to know what happened last surprise email I got from someone on YouTube? What's that? It was from Larkin's Lair, and he surprised me by sending me Re Generation Select's Red Wing. Nice. So, oh, yeah, oh, so. oh, nice. Later, Very Wolfman. Nice. Have a good night. Oh, Kato, uh, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, Input sent me some awesome comics yeah uh, uh really PKK, cool all i know is the tf company 3pko or mainline makes a figure i like and can afford i'll buy it damn right you should you like what you mm -hmm. like you buy what you buy that's true i yeah. have no problem with what people buy none despite my talk about earlier where i wish they would you know buy a license i have no problem with what people buy exactly because if you like it why i get it and you have the money to buy it then what's stopping you so, you know, despite my, despite my say, that whole little, you know, song and dance I gave about daddy, why you told us not to steal and yet you bought a figure that's stolen, blah, 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 all that stuff. You know what? Mm -hmm. It's just me saying that if they make such great figures, they should buy a license. That way we can actually have the figures as we know and love them. Exactly. That's, and that's why. I, yeah. That's and that's all that is. That's all. And it's not me trying to bring up an old argument about IP or all that. That's just me saying that I wish they had the licenses. That way, when they flame toys 
like they did. They got a license. They can produce that when they release a figure, it's at Optimus Prime. Yeah. And that yeah, makes it all that something about that just to me makes it better. And and that's why I won't put repo labels or put the Autobot symbols on my on mine for that sole reason. It's because I I look at for me the third party I look at is yes, it looks like you know, um cup. I love cup. I've got my G1 cup. Cup was awesome with the Donobots telling stories. But I, okay. Hasbro's never come out with a cup that's this size. The only one that's close to it was the power of the power of the uh, not hey, power. That of figure but. looks really familiar. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that figure looks really familiar. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why that figure looks really, really familiar. <laughs> and, and I'll you hey, that's the first one I've ever gotten for somebody that was third party. I typically just do Hasbro characters and do, but I love this character. And I love the way you looked in the size. I was like, this is this is awesome. <laughs> and I think I think you know, I agree totally. If you're gonna slap Autobot or Decepticon, and I don't I'm guys in the chat, I'm not dogging anybody by doing that does it. <coughs> but if I if that's why me personally, I will not. Ooh, Megatron. Super Megatron. Nice. Now, okay, the character Mr. was designed specifically with a toy in mind. See that? Yeah. See that yeah. right there? It was designed yeah. specifically with a toy in mind, and they never yeah. produced it, dang it. No, the closest thing that was a color image in a mag in a TV guide in yeah. Japan. Yeah. Well, what, what reminded me is Steve talked about it uh, here just a minute ago. You know what I don't like about this toy? Uh, uh, ACP, you have it, and I – okay. When you swing that arm out, you know what yes. arm I'm talking about, and yeah. how you have to try to clear that this 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 piece here. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. I got a I I got I got stress back fracture the first time I tried it. Uh, let's really? see here. who's trying to join in. Let's add them. I don't know who it is, but oh, input. What's up, dude? <laughs> input here. We're gonna so be here for that, another nine hours. That's yeah, my problem with this up. figure right here is. I easily got a stress fracture just trying to transform that freaking arm right there when you have to swing it around is, is bullshit. Did you? <laughs> I hate okay. to Okay, guys, so uh, input. Uh, you missed it, but our track primer and Ninja Bill said they missed out on Combiner Wars Devastator. So when I got him from Amazon on Entertainment, uh, Amazon apparently sent me the manufacturer's box that was provided to Entertainment Earth. And that's why I keep Devastator in the box because it's got double protection. Oh, cool! By the way, you guys, if you you need to get a Bible like I have, this is my Transformers Bible. Now, Dude, if you want to, I will tell you this: this TF Fan Geek once asked me, and so did M. Once asked me how much this cost. Well, at the time I got it, it cost me twenty nine ninety nine. Now, if you want to buy it, it's about seven hundred bucks. No, no. Yep. I got, I got both of those. Hey, I did a live stream with those books, Ninja Bill, uh, a few months ago. I was showing them to David Hill, and uh -huh. I found mine at a bookstore, each $10. Nice. So I think I think that's an inflated internet internet price. My other speaking, Wait, speaking about David Hill, has anybody heard, seen him lately? Because nope. typically comics. I saw, him on, I saw him on Facebook. But yeah, yeah I was oh, that reminds me. Stuff. Um, I told Cato and I told the earlier crowd I talked to uh, Tatamus today, so yeah, uh, he he's working on some stuff. He promises he'll be back. So okay. I told him we all miss him. So he misses us, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. So he's working on some stuff just to let you guys know. So Tatamus is coming. Wow, TFNG. Thank you. Tatamus right. is coming back around. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thanks for giving me the heads up. Yeah. So input earlier, I had mentioned that even though it's old news that Hasbro had said they wanted to try and get rid of plastic next year. And so the Combiner Wars Constructicons are an example of what a Transformers box looks like without any plastic packaging on it. Because they put the Constructicons in a bunch of cardboard uh, spaces. Mm -hmm. now, 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 as amazing as Combiner Wars Devastator was, after I got him, I also got, as you can see here by Mixmaster's new cab, the Perfect Effect Upgrade Kit. For Devastator, it was called a PC06, and basically it gave uh, Mixmaster a new truck cab to make him look more like his Generation 1 counterpart. It also gave uh, 
some other extensions. It gave uh, an extending crane arm for hook. I don't have that on. on, And it also gave Scavenger a larger, more articulated shovel. Nice. Yep. Mode. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, um, I don't have the perfect effect upgrade kit. I've got the, I think it's the DX9 upgrade kit or something. Yeah, I would have gotten that upgrade kit, but when I saw it on Amazon, it was going for ninety dollars, and Perfect Effects was only fifty-five, so it was a deal breaker there for me. There was something that me and Put and I were talking at the very end of our show, and since Ninja Bill, you get like I do the Cyberverse line. What do you think about Hasbro phasing out the Warrior line and focusing on the Cyberverse line? <laughs> I don't Probably see a deluxe class. Uh, oh, um, on one hand, I think it's a bad move, but on the other, Cyberverse line is, and a lot of people don't get this about the line because they just they get all passe about it. It's like a uh, pass or oh, it's for kids, yada 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 yada. But those toys are fun. Pick up a pick up a, any of the Cyberverse uh, Spark Armor toys. Any of yes. them. Yes. Right, and you got. I'm gonna go grab Ratchet. I'll be right back. Yeah, I mean those I get. And For sure, I, Crimson. But you know, especially if you um, but the plastic for the gimmick in the Warrior class has gotten. Whoa! Look at that thing down there. That's beautiful. Oh, there he is. Uh, oh this is my custom. This is my custom, obviously. So you know, I, 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 I have since customized it. I was about to say you got more paint on yours than I do mine. <laughs> That's because I, like, I, I got it during Jill. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I customized it. That's because Ninja Bill bought the Takara version. Don't let him fool you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. This was from ACP. <laughs> This ACP and Nick, uh, Derek and Nikki sent me, and I immediately went to work making them look all ratchety. <laughs> Not crotchety, although that would apply. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, real nice. quick, real quick, Crimson Raptors, I will, if I see the book, I will totally grab it for you. Uh, and what, what our book? Car, this book? the Caramon, I don't think Dr. Rue released his uh, his Mixmaster proper cap thing. No, it was canceled. Did. Yeah, I remember Dr. Wu was going to release an entirely brand new figure of Mixmaster, but it was ultimately canceled. So that's why everyone yeah. after the upgrade kits that merely added new parts to it. Yep. Yeah, three three books I think everyone should have in their, in their arsenal are this book, which TF, I know Tia Fangi cast. Yeah, The Ultimate Guide. Yep. That book. That one is one I think people should have. I think everyone should have this, even though the prices is outdated. The information, the general information on each toy is absolutely spot on. Yes, it is. I absolutely used to have that one. On. I let a friend of mine borrow it. And, and also, of course, they also this, re released this, that this book. This is the big one. This is the one I think everyone should own. And it is it is amazing. I mean, I did a review on this too, as well. I, uh, um, much like Input did. Uh, I don't know when he did his, but this book is, for me, it's, it's, Tia Fan Geeks commented, commented on mine when I did this, and he was like, how much is it? And I was like, <laughs> good, good luck. <laughs> real, uh, quick, real quick. Yeah, Ninja it, it, it's costly. It's costly. Your book. Nowadays, but I think that a lot of it is like Input said. It is <laughs> nice. It is, it is just internet price inflation. Why is yours green and mine black? Ooh, That's cover awesome. variants. Because mine's black. Got, you got, got you got the you got the separate issues. Mine is all one volume. Ah, okay. That's why. Oh. And and again, mine is if I can get it on camera here. There we go. Twenty nine ninety nine. Oh wait, hold on. We'll do this. Boom. Combined price. Check this out. I guess individual releases were nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> and the combo yep. was thirty bucks. So there's the ISBN if you want to copy it down. I showed it there. You can pause it later and you, you, look you it want up. To know, you, you want to know why it's cheaper? Thirty dollars instead of the twenty? Forty? <laughs> why? Hmm? It's actually cheaper to print more pages than it is less. Mm -hmm. hmm. I like the warrior class, Steve Evans said. Uh, um, I know at one point Dr. Wu showed a 
photo. Okay, Chia, thank you, Gary. Comment every warrior RD 2015 fig was it? Yes, I agree, Steve. And by the by, if Steve, the people don't know, Steve is otherwise known as Grim, and he is the brother I speak of that sends me awesome figures, such as this, this guy here who I've yet to review. Uh, um, that is the guy who has sent me a ton of great figures over the years. So, when you do your review, is made by a great artist, friend of the friend, a long time friend of my group. This is Jen Blake. She's best known for her work on a certain TV series that this sort of comes from. <laughs> yes, yeah, she got it. My Little Pony. And this is her, the only copy that I, I know of exists. I asked for an RC My Little Pony, and she did it. And she also does. Guess who? Dennis. Transformers. Uh, she does fantastic work, as you can see. Nikki was like, "Oh, she. Uh, who was that? Who was the art for that one? Because Nikki knows Sarah Richards. So uh, Jen Blake. Jen Blake. That's Jen Blake. I did. Yep. I knew it. Good friend of mine. Good friend of mine. Jen Blake. Very nice. Love it. Lovely little gal. You can say, well, we also know Jeremy um, Whitley, who writes yes, that. Whitley. Yep. Yep. Him and I actually right. worked on a project and worked together on something uh, very early on. Um, we were in Baltimore when we met. So, yeah. I Tell went to an uh, MLP convention down in St. Louis, and that's uh, uh, where I met uh, him, I think. Very nice guy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so, yes, Ninja Bill has been to my little pony convention. Don't give me that look. Give me that look input. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm giving you the look. Yeah. Do you see this? Do you see that's a crazy pie and that's Rainbow Dash? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You think Transformer those... fans are crazy? You ain't seen nothing until you went to my right. little my little pony convention. That's yeah. why I avoid my little pony conventions. <laughs> 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 She's about to hit you. <laughs> I'm, never even I'm telling you. I you think you, you think Transform fans are drinkers? <laughs> oh, I'm when, telling you what they drink like horses. <laughs> I've never had an alcoholic beverage in my life, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. No yeah. one says you have to. But I'm telling you, what, what was it? What I was never it? been so booze and box. Foot. Sarah <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Sarah yep. Richards did me a rainbow dash. And, nice. Uh, so, yeah, I was surprised by that. Um, but, yeah, that – Nikki, it, it was <coughs> to me. It was, Nikki said it was to me, but really Nikki's the one that, that asked for it. Uh -huh. So, because I'm a guy, I'm not going to go up and say, hey, will you throw me in my little pony? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Darkonan said, anyone got Jim Sorensen's new book, Transformers Visual History? Uh, no, I have not picked that up yet. No, I just picked up uh, Last Stand of the Wreckers and Spotlight, Soundwave, and RC. So that's my newest pickups. I ordered it off of Amazon like three weeks ago, and I got my gift card, and it still isn't here yet. So, oh. Wow. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've heard it's really, really good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got a good. I heard it's Amazon really thick like, too. It's like five hundred pages. So, I got a good Transformers action figure deal from Amazon last week. What'd you uh, get? They informed me that because I uh, pre-ordered a Finister way back in July when they first uploaded his web page on their site, they took four dollars off. So I only paid sixteen dollars for Spinister. I had the nice. opportunity to do the same with I had the opportunity to do the same with Crosshairs, but I didn't have enough money to get him even at that discount price. So mm. I had to cancel my Crosshairs order, and now I have to I wait. Until, now I have to wait most likely until Christmas Day before I have enough money to get Crosshairs. Yeah, okay. uh, and there's Crimson. I'm sorry I didn't notice you. Crimson, I was too busy playing. There you real go, Crimson. You're in. Real quick. That's all right. I've only been waiting there for about like. Two hours. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a lot of cool extras. Special edition version of what? Larkin, by Genesis. the way, welcome. The artwork of Transformers. Genesis. I thought he was talking about the, the visual history book. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm That's a good the one, now. Yep. Um, But yeah, so, you know. If I, I got to say, that art book, you guys, if, if anybody out there finds that, you know, input, you're already looking out for it. If you find that the combined volumes or multiple volumes, I'll, I, I'll get, I want them. I, I definitely want to. It's like I, I missed out on it when it was $20 on Amazon, and 
I don't want it at the seven hundred dollar price the third party marketplace is on. <laughs> y'all know? No. Do y'all do y'all know who Steve Bennett is? No. Oh come on! How do you not know? No. Steve, Steve motherfucking Bennett. Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know it. I didn't know it. Whatever. His parents must not like now, giving I that middle. I shouldn't show this. Kids, any kids on this channel, blink your, cover your eyes the, the, because it's got, about to get some nudity in here. He did a, a nice poster <laughs> for my my group, the League of Disposable Media. <laughs> <Nokia. laughs> <laughs> He's like, whoa, look at that, his eyes. That's, that's not as bad as Bud Root's artwork he does for Cave Woman. So, yeah, that, yeah. All right, so Ninja Bill, Primer, this is for you. Here, I took Devastator out of his box and put him together nice. for you guys. Oh my he, God! He has Perfect oh, Defect's cool. upgrade kit for him. I don't know if you can see right there, but Perfect Defect gave him some shoulder extensions. So, uh, Scavenger and Bone Crusher's uh, treads aren't actually uh, a part of the shoulder blade. And um, another uh, part of the upgrade kit, these uh, purple shin guards, which the Generation One toy had, and most notably. Mixed Master's new truck cab. Nice. See, see, I, I secretly okay, uh, loaded you favorite, and then like, put right now. He did a custom on his, and then you just like break it out like here. Let me just, I'm gonna just right there in your face, right there. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, ACP, if you want, me and TF Fanky can do a live comparison of the two upgrade kits right now if you'd like. I wouldn't mind. All right, let's do it. All right, I could drool okay. about this, and, and I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll sleep good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'll, admit, yeah, so that, uh, now I'll admit I don't have every single part. So that devastator is how tall that Braden is going to be for everybody, all the train bots. Yeah. 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 Whoa, I don't have sugar bot. Hold on, sugar bot. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't have every part of perfect. That was pretty good. What a That was pretty or good. The <laughs> the parts that I felt worked best for Devastator. Be it looks nice, TF. It looks really nice. Yeah. Like and one thing I one thing I like about uh, mixed Old man playing with toys. Is that Oldest <laughs> man here playing with toys. Yeah. The rest of these guys are youngins compared to me. I'm getting no near way. fifty. I'll be fifty in a few months. Uh. Oh wow. <laughs> So one thing I like about Mr. Master's new truck <laughs> it was like, whoa, his brother. grandpa. Hey, grandpa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, well, no, we all young and <laughs> It amazes me because, like, uh, Transformer. Okay, Ninja Bill just said he's 50. Transformer's 35. So he's been, a, he's been into this since he was, like, 15, right? Like, do the math on this. Like, he was in high school when it was uncool, <laughs> when, like, you know, like firebirds and mullets were in style. <laughs> Part business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> yeah. I was I was fourteen when they first cartoon first aired. Uh, that that should tell you right there. I was born in seventy. But so. but think about this. In all honesty, being a nerd has not been famous till the Big Bang Theory came out. Then all of a sudden. You know, right? <laughs> One thing someone at game at my local games got pointed out is that in his mind, Big Bang Theory was the first TV show that was about nerds and portrayed the lifestyle of people who are called nerds. No, that's not. I mean, yeah. it was yeah, season I, I, three. Season three is when the push started happening on Big mm -hmm. Bang, and season four is when it started becoming the norm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, 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 like, well, I've been doing. I've been. When I've been geek geeking out a long inherit time. Inherit the world. I've been I've been geeking out a long time. Bro. That's all I'm saying. I've been geeking out a long time. Well, I've been geeking you know? out most of my life. And you know why I can say that claim? Is because my parents let me watch Star Wars for the first time when I was five years old. And these days in the United States, I feel one of the definitive moments in your life is the first time after you watch Star Wars. If you don't like it, or you or you think it's sort of mediocre, then you probably aren't really too much of a geeky person. But if you love, but if you fall in love with Star Wars the first time you watch it, then my mom blames her for me being a geek because there's pictures <laughs> of her going to the opening Ooh. of Star Wars: A New Hope in '77. I had just been born, and I was still wrapped up in that. And she took me. With her to go see Star Wars, so yeah. Oh, that's yeah, high cool. oh yeah. Hey, hey, Ninja Bill, that's my childhood X-wing. Uh. <laughs> no, it isn't. This yeah, is a is. Star Wars crossover Transformer. No, I no, that's that my X-wing. <laughs> my childhood X-wing. Yeah. 
I still have my favorite Star Wars toys that were released in the 90s. They were released by the Micro Machines people and the oh yes, those spaceship were great. vehicles. They were called the Star Wars Action Fleet. And what yeah. I love about those chips is that they literally look like they jumped out of the movie screen and into the palm of your hand. I, they, they were great in accuracy with those spaceships. Do y'all uh, know? I Darkamon says that you're a nerd if you have multiple copies of Star Wars D Specialized Edition. Does that go? <laughs> does that does it count if you have multiples on Laserdisc as well? <laughs> <laughs> or, or you actually own and have a copy of the trailer still on the film roll. Holy shit. Oh, ACP Whoa. swinging for those home runs. So there's been like, 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 what, like 18 releases of Transformers the movie. What if you still have it on VHS? What if? And on what Family if, Home Entertainment with the uh, swear word. You know what? You know what, Crimson? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold my beer. <laughs> You're not gonna like <laughs> He's like, Christian, <laughs> hold my beer. <laughs> I got this. Technically, hold the margarita. <laughs> there you go. It was like, uh, I'm about to drop the anvil. Uh, see, they're calling so, so they're 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 like, copies of the Star Wars or, Specialized. I gave Larkin a mitten bop 98. Wow. Or, that or you actually got to design a Wookiee that was in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic that was in Ooh. issue 10. That might be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is my this is my hold my beer moment against Crimson. This is the laser disc version of Transformers, <laughs> and, it, and it's the Japanese version. So, <laughs> wow, that's awesome! Wow, <laughs> wow, very cool. You know, very I cool. always wanted somebody to translate the Japanese version because I know for sure that Starscream says more things in that version and other characters as well. And moments where there's no dialogue, even scripted in the uh, American version. I would love if somebody had translated that, but it, I don't know why there's no interest for it. <laughs> um, because honestly, most of it is um, like when they scream transform, because in Japan they scream transform before they transform. So a lot of it is that. And then a lot of it is death noise. Like, for instance, when Prowl dies in the Japanese version, he Ugh, when he dies. Yeah. Uh, cause back then yeah. Japan, Japan had a thing back then, uh, that was like, they could no silent death. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, there, there's a word for it, but it basically translates to no silent death. <laughs> and so they, they implemented that in the movies. So basically yeah. a lot of the extras words and stuff is just basically that, or, you know, prime is convoy, um, that kind of stuff. I mean, they're, they're slight. There's slight changes to it, but it's I, I don't really think it's it's enough that makes sense to warn it. Yeah. So Yeah. Well there's ton there's tons of cultural references and stuff that frankly it don't make it in, into the, the dubs because of things like that. Or well, what there's just talking about now. And Silent Death would also be creating a hungry ghost in their culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. But those, those are the things I'd love to hear. Like, I mean, those are like I'm I'm a huge uh, special it's features nice. kind of nut when it comes to any kind of movie or show, and I those are kind of like little nuggets of special features that we've never gotten to see. The uh, the thing on the laser disc, there's there's two versions of this laser disc. There's this one, which is the later release, which came out in '98, and then there's the one that came out in '89 that has the movie poster artwork instead of this artwork. And the only difference between the two is that it shows the trailer for the Transformers movie uh, at the end of the movie on this copy, on this version, and the original the laser disc version shows the 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 trailer before the movie. Yep. And mm. that that's that's it. That's the only special features. Mm. So Crimson Raptors, if you come down for TFCon, like we were talking about, if you come down a few hours right. early. <laughs> We throw this in the laser disc player and halfway through it, get up and flip it over. So, <laughs> Darkonan says, I ain't got no film reels. No, I'm lucky to be wearing pants, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have the best buy release. You guys, of you guys remember the, the vault book, right? The vault yeah, the vault book. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. 
the vault. Yeah, done. that yes, one, yes, yes. the one that Ninja Bill showed and, and Input showed, as well as the Visual History that just came out. Those are the one. Those are the three books you should have. Oh yeah, oh, I will yeah. say. I will say. There's a book that I showed. It's called Transformers Genesis. Um, if, if you guys want a time capsule to what it was like to be a Transformers fan in the early thousands, get that book as well. Cause it's a lot of Pat Lee artwork. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of, um, uh, UK artwork. Um, I skipped that book. It's yeah. a nice book. It is really I nice. It too. <clears throat> I saw it at, I saw it at, uh, um, at, uh, uh, Barnes and Noble when I picked up, uh, uh, no, Barnes and Noble when I picked up the Spotlight editions uh, some time ago. Earlier, other Spotlight editions. Uh, I didn't have Soundwave or RC. I do now, but um, like I said, there's recent pickups uh, um, this month. And uh, um, I saw that and I passed on it. Now I'm kind of regretting it now that you've talked about it. The other thing is, is what's really cool about that book is like you can see what characters Hasbro was pushing at the time in that book versus who they're pushing now. Like They had a really big emphasis on Sideswipe back then versus not mm -hmm. so much now. Um, a lot of the uh, like Fort Max is only in that book like maybe three times, where they've been pushed. You know, he got a new figure a few years ago. So, like I said, it's a time capsule itself. It's pretty awesome. Darkonan says, "I took my little brother and cousin to see the Transformers movie at our local theater when I was twelve. When Prime croaked, there were kids all around me in tears, and one kid had to be carried out because he shit himself." <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then dad more dad more he says i really didn't expect to go there and find tears and shit <laughs> so, so here's an interesting question i want to pose to everybody man. i go watch because I've, I've been go ahead no no, no. Ahead. I, I was gonna say like that's that's my deal right like my my question i pose to everybody is would we still be talking about Transformers as a whole if Prime had not died in that movie? Yes. 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 But why? The franchise why would survived. we still be talking about Transformers? See, some people have said because third party has 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 made made it grow. I disagree strongly because it's a fr franchise has continued even at its lowest. <laughs> Was still going on, Night Kato. even though they're not here in the states, but it was Night still Kato. going on in Japan. Okay, let me correct that. Night Kato. When, it, when the law here happened, right? So in season four, it cut off after what four episodes, if I'm not mistaken, right? right. Three. 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 three, three. Yeah, Rebirth I thought it was four. Episodes. Nope, three. Three. Okay, three. But anyway, and it died in Japan. However, it kept going. It kept going. We had the headmasters. We had victory. We had, I don't even want to say it. Oh, God, I'm going to say it. Zone. Uh, Transform <laughs> zone. No, no, no. Zone. Input, no, 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 no. Well, that's because they were accustomed to their characters dying in Japan. No. That was not something that was foreign to them. It's part of the hero saga, the die yeah. a hero. Yeah. yeah. And, they, and they love their heroes. Yeah. So... And then, and then we took, then we took notice. Of what Japan was going on didn't in Japan. until after Headmasters, though. Yeah. So it's different yeah. in Japan. They didn't see the movie until 1988, and because yep. they saw it as like, oh well, we, we can't show this. This might ruin our the brand, right? Later, so Darkonin. to the people in Japan, they just saw it as like, hey, the leader changed, and that's all they knew. Barricado, later Larkin Slayer. But I, I view the Transformers like my grandfather viewed Superman. I mean, you know, Superman changed and is not the same as it was when he came out when my grandfather loved it. Um, I think that this is the brand that has stuck with our generation and generations after because you do have a uniqueness. Like Superman was unique. No one ever had the powers that Superman had in comics. And that's what made him stand Shazam. out. I think the Transformers too. I'm sorry, input. What? I was gonna say didn't. I mean, Shazam didn't have the same powers, but he's pretty similar back then. Yeah, yeah he he was pretty similar back then, and that's why DC sued the creator to steal those uh, to take those rights. But yeah, yeah. So, but if you guys want to know what made Superman stand out when he was first made? I saw this on a 
uh, his, it was a historical documentary on comic books. Superman was one of the first comic book characters who existed here in our reality. Yes. And all the other com yep. all the other comics that were made before Superman, the characters either existed in a different moment in history, on another planet, somewhere in the realm of fiction, because that's what everyone thought comic books were meant to be, was, fi was completely fictional. So Superman broke grounds in showing that fictional characters can exist in our own reality. Mm -hmm. So that's why Superman has lasted since the year 1938. Yep. And I, I think, I think uh, uh, Japan owes, we, the fan community as we are now, owes Japan a great deal, not a thanks, not only for the mm -hmm. original toys, mm -hmm. but Transformers as they are now. Not so much the third party toys as people like to say, third party toys reinvigorated the brand. Well, kind of, yes, they, they have a point. But to further that point, if you go further back along to the early 2000s, third party toys weren't around. I so, really, you know. I really think third party figures have kind of split the fandom more so, or not the fandom, but split like the toy collecting aspect of it more so than anything else. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think that's, I mean, that's neither here nor there, but, uh, but you, but I feel like you see a lot when people like they quote unquote upgrade to the one that they feel like, or they have a filler or something like that. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I think I think, and we all do it, huh? And we all do it. We yeah, all do feel, it. Yeah, but I feel like third-party collectors they they kind of they make it a I, I won't say make it a point, but it's very obvious that they do it, right? Because like it's like um, whenever they throw around the words "adult taste," that's what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. And then and then the companies have bought into that, like. Uh, like fan toys when they released their Cyclonus versus DX, not DX9, uh, X Transbot Cyclonus, right? Uh, everybody thought their Cycl fans toys was better, so they upgraded, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so, but yeah, Ninja Bill hit it right on the head. That's the uh, uh, adult. Uh, it's a stupid yeah. analogy, and people use it all the time. <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself. The toy, you jackasses. Get over yourselves. Thanks for, thanks for not letting me drown there, Ninjaville. I was, for it. I was looking for the word. I couldn't figure it out, though. It's, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. It's like, get over it's yourselves. Action figures. I mean, come on. I mean, you know, it's just one of those things where I, I see it all the time. You know, some of these reviewers, and I don't want to knock any of them, okay? You know, they are the way they are, and they appreciate it the way they appreciate it, you know. But end of day, <laughs> end of day, this right here is just as good product-wise. Well, not product-wise, but, you know, uh, uh, um, description-wise as what they have. It's a toy. It's a, it's a freaking action figure. It's, it changes from one thing to another just like theirs does. You are Put, a... Toy, <laughs> put it in front of a six-year-old and say, "Okay, you put a third-party <laughs> prime, and you put, you know, a Hasbro prime in front of them, and they're they're not going to say, ooh, they're going to say toy." <laughs> well, there won't be any parts for them to choke on with a Hasbro, but you, uh, you know, they choke on for some reason. Kids like put them in their mouth when they eat them. Now, I don't, I don't get it. Ah. Let me, let, me, let me ask you this It's because they're all kinds of primary color. <laughs> if you put a Siege Optimus Prime in front of a toddler, and then you put a, uh, I don't know, say I MP44 or Magic Square Prime in front of a toddler at the same time, which one are you going to grab if the toddler reaches for it first? <laughs> <laughs> which one are you going to protect? Are you going to protect that Siege or are you going to protect that MP44, right? <laughs> there you go. There you go. There's daddy's toys and then there's junior's toys. Right. <laughs> but a toy nonetheless. That's good, Kiefanky. That's the, Yeah, but uh, the MP44, we can just glue back together as a statue, right? <laughs> Only right. after the knees shatter. Right? <laughs> there you go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's the Cyberverse one, isn't it? No. No, nope. this is the no. This is the four-inch Transformers Authentics Bravo Optimus Prime. Oh, I nice! Found, 
I found this at my uh, local uh, uh, Rite Aid pharmacy store a few weeks ago. And I figured, uh, what would be the harm in a new Optimus Prime toy? Well, when you get him inside the box, you see him from the front. And then they hide the side views of him. So when you turn him around, take a look at that. Hollow, yeah. I got him also, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got the I got the Grimlock in that series yesterday, and that Grimlock is just the same way. Yeah. I got Prime and Megatron because I love Prime and Megatron. The blue hey, one or the smaller one? That's yeah, cool the, yeah, these are the smaller ones that I found. Ninja Bill's the, holding the bigger one. No, 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 I'm yeah. not. No, the big I like that, that Grimlock. The, I like that Megatron as well. This is the Cyber Battalion but, Optimus Prime that uh, I just this, customized, but cool. this is the Cyber Battalion. And this, now, a lot of people knocked this toy, but I'm telling you, ACP can tell you the same thing. This is actually a really good Optimus Prime toy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's a really nice figure. It really yeah. is. Yeah, it's it's got a great looking alt mode. Sure, it doesn't have articulated knees. My, I mean, no, no knees on him. <laughs> He's worse than a 90 year old trying to cross the street. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good there you go. Instead of a walker, you have a trailer, right? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's a nice figure overall. It's a nice figure. I'm sure there's this, you know, clunky stuff here on the side, but hell, yeah. you get that siege now, too. So <laughs> I think it's good figures. And end of the day, as long as you enjoy what you're doing, what you got, I guess everything's okay. In my book, anyway. Now I've not I so I so many people when I first posted pictures on my Facebook about this, it, some people are like, "Oh, that's terrible! Why would you even throw that thing in the trash?" And I'm thinking to myself, "Get over yourselves! I mean, you, you're Welcome just going to put baby. your ideals on everybody else and not let them have fun. That's what these toys are about. They're fun. Cyberverse line is fun. Cyber mm. Battalion. They're sure they're upscaled, uh, and, and during inputs." And ACPs and Crimson and KOs. Last live show, just for mine, uh, they were talking about uh, um, upscaled toys. Well, this is Hasbro's official upscaled Legion mm -hmm. Optimus Prime right here. It's yep. an the Cyber Talon yep, Cyber Talon right. line was nothing but upscaled Legion toys, and that's these guys, Prowl and who else was it? I, I didn't get Cliff Jumper. I got Prowl. I got him. I got Jetfire, and one other, and I can't remember. Shockwave? I got uh, Shockwave. Yes, Shockwave. Yeah, Shockwave. I, I, I got can't Jeff remember. He's sitting right and there. Mm. <clears throat> and that Shockwave isn't so bad. You know, if you got that upgrade kit for the knees, it's even better. What were you talking about? Well, I yeah, think funny. I, I, I bought... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say for the, the Shockwave, I actually like it's alt mood better than the uh, Siege line. Yes. Yes, believe it or not. Yes, I agree with that because it is uh, it is better. TF TF fan page one hundred and one says no. Every transformer needs to be cartoon accurate masterpiece figures for myself. No kids allowed. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Oh, I by agree. The way, no. By the way, welcome TF fan page one hundred and one. <laughs> but uh, but no. Yeah, but what's honestly, up, man? <laughs> that as a as a toy as a toy accurate fan versus a show accurate fan, I do. TF fan page, you, you do make a, a pretty valid point. I, that's what I feel like I'm swimming in or drowning in whenever I watch a review or something. And, you know, oh, this this is supposed to be blue. This is supposed to be red. Or this is supposed to be, you know, this color. Or, th or this isn't cartoon accurate or something. So. I like so said, it actually looks well, better than the Siege version. <laughs> oh, man. I was going to say that... Uh... Um, crap! I was gonna I was gonna say something about the I forgot what it was, but I did have a question for TF Fan Geek. Um, yes. Did you like when you said you didn't put um, stickers on your third party figures? You said because you didn't have any. Do you like the silver matte finish, or do you like the reflective chrome finish Autobot Decepticon emblems? Um. I actually prefer the silver mat over chrome because uh, chrome attracts more fingerprints. Okay. But hmm. but I, as far as the colors go, it doesn't matter what background it is as long as the Autobot logos are red and the Decepticon ones are purple because I can't stand the all-silver logos that the live-action movies tried to make popular. 
Because like, I kind of like those. Okay. Because some of the third party companies they do put room for the faction logos on there, but of course they can't apply you with the stickers for it. You have to do that yourself. So that's one of my reasons for that. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And for those, um, yeah, and I, I'm sure input. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, okay. I'm done. Okay. Uh, were you going to say Crimson? Yeah, I, I'm sure Input has run into this with animation is that, yeah, I had applied the Chrome stickers to some of my figures, like the, the third-party blaster I have that works perfect with Siege Optimus Prime. And mm-hmm. then I was taking pictures, and I was like, why does that keep looking weird? And I was like, oh, because it's reflecting my black shirt that I had on, or it's reflecting my desk or something. I was like, dang it, I yep. should have got the matte ones. <laughs> yeah, See, for me, sure. when I buy stickers... I like you guys saw my Generations Warpath when I showed showed that in the last live stream I did uh, with you guys. Um, I buy stickers if I think they added some value, you know, aesthetically to the figure. If I don't like, I see all. Look, don't don't get me wrong. I think Toy Hacks Repro labels is fantastic. All right, and they do typically add something to a character, but I don't need them on every single darn uh, Transformers release. Okay, I I I, I don't. So I only buy sporadically. I bought the ones for Generation Jazz, for uh, uh, for Animated uh, uh, Magnus, for Warpath, and uh, let's see, and a few others, but very sporadic. And most time, if I do order some from them, and I have ordered, ordered quite a bit, I just order faction logos. Otherwise, I just. And for, for me, I I don't buy any of the stickers. I'm not a big fan of stickers on Transformers. I don't. For some reason, yeah, yeah, I'd rather have the paint or, or paint. yeah, for for me personally. But I get it that some guys get it. And I mean, well, you take a look at Larkin's videos that he did showing the uh, the Raper labels for Prowl, the Earth modes, and for, for those. I mean, I get it. They look nice, but I, I'm not a big fan of stickers. I guess it's because I got yeah. man hands and I pull them off and... We watched me break and see Transformers explode. I, I hated the stickers when it was in Generation 1. <laughs> mm. uh, the reason I don't like stickers, <laughs> the first Transformers toys I started, I started collecting were with the Armada line back in 2003. And mm-hmm. if you look at the toys released in the Armada line, almost all of them, the faction symbols are actually sculpted into the surface of the toy. There's like no way of removing them. And I honestly thought when I... When I was collecting those toys, and then I looked on Hasbro's website, and I saw archived photos of the Generation 1 toys and how the faction logos used to be stickers, I honestly thought Hasbro had moved on from stickers entirely, and that sculpted, surfaced uh, faction logos were going to be the future. And today, Hasbro, now that Hasbro's taken a step back and gone back to stickers, I honestly think that was a, set, that was a setback that could have been done better. Because I even... Well, they- because even with well, other, they don't, they don't toys, do stickers anymore. They do tampograph now. Yeah, they yeah they can tampograph it onto the surface. Because that's what they did with right. Siege Factor. His actor, his uh faction symbol is uh tampographed into the surface of him. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. not a sticker at all. Yep. I like that. Welcome, Omegas. I do. I like it too. Hello, but yeah, uh, but yeah, stickers quick. I think are the worst form of faction symbol to have. Stickers are the worst. Tampographed is in the middle, and then. My favorite, which probably won't happen again, is a sculpted in uh, faction logos. Yeah, you never know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we could see something like that in the Earthrise, but you know, I yeah. wouldn't count on it. But we could. Like here, even with even with the uh, five inch um, Authentics Bravo Optimus Prime, his Autobot logo is actually sculpted into the surface of the toy. So uh-huh. if you wanted to repaint this into Nemesis Prime, I'm with I'm you'd have to shave that Autobot logo off the same, surface. Same with the Cyber Battalion; those are sculpted in. Oh, so, nice. Well, the, the robot mode ones, there's another one on here that's tampograph, but these two are tampographs, but there's one sculpted into it, so in the robot mode. Uh, real quick, guys. Uh, Darkening asked if he sold his Fans Project Phoenix, or Fans Toys Phoenix, uh, and got Siege Jetfire, would he be upset? So no. I'll, uh, I'd say this. It's apples and oranges. Yeah. It's, it's Chug versus Masterpiece. I I yep. like I absolutely like that Siege Jetfire, um, but I say if you got the Fans Toys Phoenix and you're wanting to replace him with Siege, I'd say if if you're wanting to put some extra money in your pocket, but you want to keep uh, a Jetfire on your shelf, I'd say do it. 
but other than that, I'd say I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I agree with input on that because that's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful figure that you have. Yeah. Uh yeah. I, don't get me wrong, yep. I love the siege jet fire because we finally have a real looking jet fire. But if you've got that that figure, unless you really need the money and, and you can get back what you put into it, go for it if that's what you want. But if not, hold on to that thing. Honestly, five thumbs up from us for keeping it or, but it, again, that's up, up to you and your personal yeah. taste. Um, yeah. I, I have actually seen posts on Facebook where people have traded in their fans toys version or the siege version simply because of then they put that extra difference in cash towards something else. Yeah. Um, and they were less happy with the siege. Some were actually happier. Some were less. The majority though, have done that said they were less happy with the siege that said they were happy with their next purchase so mm -hmm. that's a right. it's, what input, yeah it's what input saying it's, it's apples and oranges there, there's no comparison between the two because if you if you're only going to display your your collection fans toys phoenix is is what you want to have absolutely want to have but if you're going to do stuff like you know if, if i have that and the siege jet fire the the fans toys phoenix is staying on the shelf and it's not going anywhere the siege jet the siege jet fire is going is what i'm going to play with everywhere in any room and i'm going to use it in stop motion because i know it, i can replace it pretty easily the yes. phoenix is a whole nother story that's very difficult to replace it yes i agree with that completely <laughs> and by that i mean if you replace it because you broke it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well that yeah. honestly uh, in all in all honesty, I feel more um I feel better about taking my siege jetfire off the shelf and transforming them and playing around with them than I do fans toys Phoenix. So, yes. Homemade hooch. Yeah. Booze and bots, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of vodka. A little, a, bit little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A little bit of vodka <laughs> and a little bit of other stuff. I don't want to see a whole bunch. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> talk about pickle in the liver. Lord of mercy, a little bit. A little bit. Just a That's why he looks so young, guys. Right there. Just a He's pickled. Just a smidge of vodka. Not very much. <laughs> He's been pickled. That's why he looks so young. He's pickled by Hell yeah. So a ninja, I feel a ninja like you could paint the outside of that hot pink and just that's your energon jug. <laughs> energon. Wait, what was that, TFN Geek? I said, I said, with what you're drinking, Ninja Bill, that's a cycle of destruction. Nice. <laughs> that's what I thought you said. Hey, do you have any of the laser cycles, TFN Geek? Uh, no, I do not. Why not? Because, well, for starters, I don't know what, who the la laser cycles are. What, 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 what? This what, is Transformers, what? not GoBots. Yeah, yeah, GoBots. No GoBots. No, laser cycles. Laser cycles. Road pig. Road rage. Look, 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 look. Here's Axer. Bumble Later, Bumble Breeze. Here's Axer. Have a good one, Bumble Breeze. This is Axer. Mm. And. Hey, Bumble Breeze. Sideways. Uh, were they G2? No, wait, sideways. Sideways? Sideways. Mm. Were they G2 figures? Yes, they're Generation 2. Oh, well, that's yeah. what I didn't know. No, they actually, no, 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 they're they're not. not. They are robots in, or car robots, depending on your how you want to call it, but mm. robots in disguise from 20, 2001. Those, those versions are, yeah, but the and original are molds are from Generation 2, like Road Rocket and Road Pig. Mm. Yep. Okay. Yep. And there was supposed to be, a, yeah. and there was supposed to be a Soundwave and Jazz, Soundwave, Jazz, Mm. They had the promotional artwork for them, but uh, sadly, been... only one model of each exists, or something like that, and nobody I know has ever seen them. Mm. <laughs> well, I hope I don't give you guys heart attacks, but Car Robots is the one Transformers cartoon that I have never watched. Okay, that's it. Turn I'm out. Your fan card. I'm out. I want your fan card to a fan geek. I want it. I want to tear it up. <laughs>
I'll be the outlier here. You're not missing anything. I cannot deal with this right now. I'm out. Thanks for the live stream, Ninja Bill. Thanks for the invite. But I can't deal with this. I have a heart condition, guys. Y'all just like tearing it all up. It's like, you know, I'm in fire. I'm turning white right now because I'm in shock. What? I gotta go grab him. I gotta hold him close. What? Can I give an extra? Can I, give an extra I gotta go hug my fire convoy, convoy damn it. <laughs> yeah. I give my oh, sure. they, they don't mean it. They don't mean it. No, no. Can they I, don't. Can I give my explanation for why I've never watched They don't mean it. They, they don't mean it. I, I, I think, yes, you, you know should people. have him and spoon with him. I mean, that's what we're. <laughs> <laughs> they don't mean it. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. They don't mean it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what? Uh, is it because he's not a, 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 a truck? He's a he's a fire. We engine? broke the piece. <laughs> we broke Tia Fangy. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Transformers, as a Neza, I am not Nisha. Neza, it's Neza. Neza uh, Cyberverse will be the best crossover ever. Sure, why not, Omega? I agree. Actually, look, I saw a preview of one of those figures um, on Facebook. <laughs> you okay, Tia Peggy? Okay. No, the reason I'm looking at is because I'm afraid that if I watch it, I'm going to instantly fall in love with all the characters and want to get toys of them. That's, what, that's why I've never watched it. You will, it, you will end that up loving it. That happened time. the first time I watched Beast Wars. I instantly fell in love with it, and after I watched it, I wanted, I so desperately wanted to have toys of all those characters. I spent $55 getting my first toy of Cheetor off of Amazon. Nice. So I'm, a, so I'm afraid I'm going to have the same reaction with car robots. Cheetor? You will. Yeah, X, X Braun is my favorite character in that entire series, and I'm pretty sure you'd fall in love with X Braun real quick. <laughs> but those figures are pretty cute. Car robots. I have a toy of his Skybite, the uh, 2014 Generations Voyager class. That one's based on the IDW series, isn't it? Yeah. 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 The Cars version is based more on the Car Robots cartoon, mm -hmm. which was awesome. Mm -hmm. I have him back there somewhere. He, he back there. <laughs> <laughs> I have the entire. Uh, yeah, um, I have the entire Crimson. Pay attention. I have the entire Car Robots line. The entire line because it's awesome. Yeah, that's all I had to say. Nice. <laughs> Car Robots. The toys, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. I, I know. I know. I'm, I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm loving you more, Ninja Bill. I'm gonna trade Nikki in for you. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make promises you can't fulfill, ACG. Wow. Nigga's like, I'm giving him up for free. Take him off my hands. All right, I'll pick you up tomorrow, bud. Look at the background input. You better do what you better do an about face. What's going on behind me? Yeah, that did. <laughs> hey, ACP, ask Nikki if you come with the couch. <laughs> no, come with the couch. <laughs> come with the couch. You know, if you ain't coming with a couch or a chair, then no, it ain't worth it. Well, she <laughs> says you're not leaving the house with my transformers. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> and best you'd stick around then. <laughs> and, it, and it's because Nikki loves her some what? Priorities. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Priorities. Uh, I saw this post today. What was it? it was uh, I actually shared a post that said uh, uh, had showed this girl talking to her mother, and she said, "Mom, I'm gonna date boy boys." And the mom says, "Okay, well, I need you to warn you uh, uh, about some things." And the girl says, "What? Sex?" She says, "No, Transformer fans." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw that too. That was on Instagram. 
Yeah, because, yeah. because if like, you can't yep, accept giant right. robots in our life, we don't want to accept you in our life. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. uh, why in RID 2001 call X Braun? Why not Braun instead? Um, good question. <laughs> it was, uh, it was a yeah. trademark reason. I think they should call him Ironhide. I mean, you ever see the X Man? It's always better with the X. Yeah, there you go. It's extreme. Extreme. <laughs> team truck, not monkey. Uh, are going to so, say team truck, not monkey. So I can imagine. I can imagine that there'll be a meme out there somewhere. It'd be like, well, why are you breaking up with me? I was like, look, babe, it, it, it's not me. It's because you love beast machines. That's why we got to break up. No, no, no. I tell you right now, if, uh, if output was a GoBot fan, we wouldn't have made it past the first date. <laughs> <laughs> the look she's giving you. Megatron couldn't give that look. <laughs> 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 <Love you>. uh. <laughs> Blink uh, twice what? if you need help. Blink twice. Oh shit! It's been over. It's been over two hours. Uh, Thirty uh. seconds ago. Thirty-two seconds ago. Thirty-three seconds ago. Thirty-four seconds ago. Okay, oh, yeah. guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank, right. thank you very uh. much for joining me, Crimson Rapster. Thank you, Input. Thank you, ACP. Thank you, TF Fan Geek. Thank you to everyone who's joined in the live chat. Thank you all so much. Hope to do this again sometime. And uh, we'll see you on the flip. Uh, maybe I'll do one tomorrow or I'll join one. In, in anyone you want to do one tomorrow, I'll gladly join in as well. Have a great night. And you Thank you. Guys. See you, everybody. Night, guys. And, uh, Thank you for having what, us. Oh, just... Fang, why don't you take us out? Take us away. Me? Send us into a glorious story. A glorious story? Yes. Bobby Roode style glorious. <laughs> yes. Okay. An epic adventure. Send us on an epic adventure. Okay. There was a time when Optimus Prime found the Matrix had been stolen. And he had to try 